Hello, good morning. This is attorney Francis Hayden from DLSEO Law Group here with our weekly Facebook Live immigration update. This week we're talking again about social media, one of my favorite subjects. A new rule has come out uh, from the State Department that relates directly to immigrant visa applicants overseas and the application form that they fill out. Uh, this rule is in the comment period, which lasts 60 days, and then probably about 30 days after that it will, it will end up uh, being implemented. Uh, the rule allows for new questions, and those questions are related to identifiers from social media platforms for the five years before the application and it invites the applicant to also list other platforms if they're not listed on the form. The State Department can change the platforms that they ask about at any time. Uh, and they're also asking for five years of previously used telephone numbers, email addresses, international travel, any immigration violations, and whether specifically identified family members have been involved in terrorist activity. So I think they, that they are relying upon people to be super honest on their form. The form that is filled out is uh, known as the DS-260 form. Some of you may be familiar with it. It's only used in the context of applying for a green card at a U.S. consulate or embassy overseas. So far, it hasn't uh, reached the persons that are applying for their green cards within the United States who file a different set of forms. So this is an important distinction. When it first came out, we thought, oh boy, they're revising also the non-immigrant visa form, which is for many of the visas that people apply for around the world, either for visiting the United States or working in the United States, anything other than a green card. We did check in with you in June of last year about a change in the non-immigrant visa context that you may recall, just to review. Uh, a new form came out in that uh, announcement and that form was strictly for non-immigrant visa applicants, but it doesn't apply across the board. The consular officers are using it at their discretion. And it asks for similar information. It actually asks for more information than the, uh, the immigrant visa one will. It, it uh, goes to a 15-year period for travel, if you can imagine remembering all that. Uh, but most people are not filling that out. We're seeing that it is coming up here and there rather randomly and we don't know what basis they use to decide whether or not to use that form. Uh, that's the DS-5355, and um, it, it is not used in every single case. So this is the latest. Uh, I imagine we're gonna have more updates on similar things coming out from the administration, and please stay tuned, and we'll see you next week. If you have any questions, please do reach out to us. Thank you very much.